Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be creating this object here. Let's get started. For this project, all dimensions will be in millimeters. Start out by creating a new component. Select the top view. Let's create a sketch on the visible plane. Let's add a series of rectangles that intersect each other. And we'll add some dimensions. Finish the sketch, select extrude command, select the profile we just created, extrude it about 20 millimeters. Let's add some fillets to these corners here. We're gonna make it 10 millimeters. However, we're gonna increase the scale of the tangency weight to two. Now watch the shape of the fillet. It's gonna create an even sharper edge. Let's add some more fillets. I'm gonna add fillets to this outside edge here. Make it 20 millimeters. Next, we're gonna use the shell command to shell out this entire object. I'm gonna select these faces here. as well as the bottom. I'm gonna shut it out about three millimeters. Let's create a sketch on this face here. Select P for the project command. And we wanna project these surfaces. We're going to use information to help us build some lines. Looks like one didn't take, so we'll hit the P key again and redo it. And it's set. Let's draw a series of lines starting on the inside, not the direct outside, but the inside on all the corners. Finish the sketch. Next, we'll use the extrude command and select the profile we just created. Let's rotate it around because we want to select the entire profile. Once we've done that, we want to bring it in a distance of negative three millimeters and make sure the operation is set to join. Let's add some more fillets to these edges here. And again, add more fillets. And add even more fillets. Now, I'm going to add some chamfers to these edges here. Let's 
Next, we want to create a series of holes on these corners. Let's create a sketch on any one of these faces. Let's draw a center rectangle and make a construction. We're going to use it to create holes. Give us some dimensions, 65 millimeters on all sides. Finish the sketch. And let's use the hole command. Select the four corners. Set the distance to all. Want it to be tapped, full, flat. And we'll set the isometric profile to be six millimeters. M6 by one for threads. Next, we use the rear command. There's two ways to do this. You can either use the mirror command or you can do a copy. We're just gonna use the mirror command, create, mirror, object types, bodies, mirror plane is gonna be the bottom plane here. Operation should not be joined but new body because we want two separate bodies. And you'll see here on the components, you have two separate bodies. Top and bottom. An extra added step we're gonna do for cosmetic purposes only, it may not be perfect, but you'll get the picture. We're gonna insert a part from McMaster car component. We're gonna select screws and bolts. We want it to be metric. Let's slide down so we see M6. We want 18 by eight stainless steel socket head screws. Want the thread pitch to be one millimeter. Want the length to be eight millimeters. And let's scroll over. And we're gonna download the step file associated. Click download. And it's gonna give us a series of icons. We're gonna slide it over. We're gonna move it how we want, but just go ahead and click okay. Now we're gonna set this up as a joint. So what we can do before we set anything out, let's go ahead and make copies of this. So we'll right click, copy at the very top of the tree, right click, select paste new. That way it's its own separate entity. We're gonna do this four times, but I'm gonna use the same one each time. Paste new. Paste new. And now we have four of these. I want to move this outside of the tree and capture position. Okay. All right. I want to make sure the whole tree is selected so we can move these individually. So now we're going to use joints. Select joint. Origin mode. We're going to basically be snapping it. And I want this bottom edge here to snap to that edge there. And I want it to be in the center. I want to rotate it. And it's set. Once again, keep in mind, this is for cosmetic purposes only. If you want to set it up, you can also do it as you see fit. And you can use whatever screws you want. I'm going to do the same thing for this screw here. Make sure it lines up in the center. Rotate it. Do the same thing for the screw as well. And last but not least, the final screw. There 
and it's set. Let's go ahead and give it an appearance and we'll make the entire object stainless steel. Let's search the library for stainless steel polished. I'm going to go ahead into render section and take a look and see what we got here. See what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and hide the browser for a second. And as you can see, the reason I'm rendering this is to show you something that I've discovered. So what I want to do is I want to make this look perfect. But if you can see here, this actually looks separated. It doesn't look realistic. So what I want to do is I want to turn on texture map controls. Selection. It's going to be this top object here. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the in canvas render. Display mode, I want to be a UV texture. And as you can see, it doesn't look uniform. Projection type is set to automatic. So what I want to do now is I want to set it to planar. And I want the axis to be the Z axis. As you can see, it looks more natural. Just to give you a demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now go back to canvas render. And as you can see, it looks uniform. I'll turn the lights around so you can actually see. Position the lights in the manner that it's actually shining on it. And now you don't see the separation anymore. Make it a little glossy with the appearance again. I turn down the roughness, give it more gloss. And there you have it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.